And that's why I love watching my blues. My blues. My blues is a copyright by Twitter user at Kim Fall. That's U L, not two L's. Yo, 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 recappers, what's up? Welcome to yet another special edition of the G Cap Recaps. My blues. I'm G Cap, and welcome back, my friends. Um, yeah. Uh, so this is, you know, uh, keep the intro short. Uh, by this point in time, I think everybody's got the, the gist. It's uh. Yeah, instead of doing some of my uh, my longer reviews, I, you know, I I've been buying a lot of physical media because I need my blues. But yeah, I, I've just been buying a lot of media, and I figured this would be pretty cool to uh, kind of share that. I mean, you know, I kind of look at it ahead of time now to see uh, what it is, so I can you know get ready. But I, I still try to do it impromptu. I just want to make sure that the disc is still in there, and I didn't get sent something like totally weird. And um, you know, I mean, I might open one one day and it be shattered, or I might cut my hand, so I'm going to keep this very live. But, you know, I pre-cut this one, and uh, I'm still going to give you your moment of zen. I'm still going to give you your trigger warning. Sensory overload. Oh. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that crinkle cracker packaging. The security. You feel secure, don't you? Much like my bluff. My blues in there. Let's get it out now. I think you've had enough. That was a fail. Um, this is a dual edition. This is a dual blue. A dual blue. Of uh, Bad Dreams from 1988. And uh, Visiting Hours. Get my, uh, my blade out. I'm just going to concentrate on Bad Dreams. Which is a... Uh, you know, like a film from 1988 that I, I really do uh, I really do enjoy. And I'm going to talk to you guys about it. I don't know if many people have seen it, but as I'm, you know, oh, sensory overload again, the anticipation for the blue. Not my blue. Well, I mean, it is my blue, not your blue, my blue. And we got it open. Yeah, this is from the uh, Scream Factory. I want to say this came out like a year ago or so. But not a lot of people have seen this movie. Uh, I mean, at least people I've interacted with, you know, just through life. Uh, so I don't, I'm usually the kind of guy that's like, hey, it, it, there's no spoiler alert. This movie's, you know, 40, 30, whatever years old. But on this one, I'm going to keep my spoilers. Like, I'm just going to tell you about the movie. I, I think it was a bomb at the office. I, I mean, at the box office. I don't think it did very well. I just remember even back then, if my serve my memory serves me correctly, there's a lot of bad backlash on it because critics, the experts, they were saying that you know there's a lot of comparisons to Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Part Three in particular. You know you've got you know the the the, the killer you know like that the killer in visions and in, and in dreams and he's got a burned face some sometimes and uh, you know they, they they've got like a whole like young kids experiencing all these like group traumatic episodes and everything so it was, it was just like dream warriors i mean in, in that kind of sense sure you can you can pull a lot of comparisons there i mean hell the lead here is jennifer rubin who played taryn in night around on street part three so i mean you know but whatever but still it got buried and it, it shouldn't have this is a cool flick i'm glad this is actually out on a uh, blu-ray and accessible it's been a long time since i saw visiting hours Maybe I'd like to talk about this someday. I haven't seen this, guys, in like well over 20 years. So I'm really not sharp on it. I mean, I do like it. It has Michael Ironside in it. And like Michael Ironside, you know, FTW and all. Um, but, you know, I want to, you know, I want to just focus on this and just talk about this and save this for another day. So I'll get into it. There was, uh, back in the 70s, there was one of these like weird suicide love cults. Uh, called uh, Unity Fields, and they had at the very beginning of the movie. They ha they have this mass suicide where they all set themselves on fire, and they all perish. Even the leader of the group, um, Franklin Harris, who's played by Richard Lynch. Th this young girl is able to survive somehow. She's in a coma, and she's in there for 13 years, and she's bring she's you know brought to this hospital. So you know she comes out of the coma. Now she she's an older person. She's an older woman. She's Jennifer Rubin. She's not a child anymore. So right at the hospital she's at, um, there is a doctor. I don't remember his name. 
uh, but he is played by Bruce Abbott, who most of you will probably know for uh, Reanimator and Bride of the Reanimator. And he has this therapy, um, like group therapy, experimental session. And it sounds like Nightmare on Elm Street 3, yes. And <laughs> um, with, with younger people. So throughout this movie now, she starts having these visions um, that he, uh, Franklin Harris, that he's still coming for her, that he's still alive. And, you know, sometimes he looks normal. You know, Richard Lynch is like normal face. There's other times where he's burned. You know, he looks horribly burned. It doesn't look like, I mean, I guess if you want to say he looks like Freddy, but he looks pretty demonic. But, you know, that's that that's what sold tickets back then, kids. You know, <laughs> it was a good formula back then. It worked. You know, I mean, I was all over wanting to see it. I was hoping it was going to be like Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, got something a little bit different, though, and, and enjoyed it uh, nonetheless. Also in this group are some memorable faces. There's uh, Dean Cameron and uh, E.G. Daly is in it, who I, I've always had a thing for. Oh, she's so cute. She's a part of this group as well. Um, and I, I don't want to spoil too much stuff because obviously some things are kind of obvious, but Cynthia's Jennifer Rubin's character's name just came to me. So Cynthia's, uh, Cynthia keeps having these, you know, visions or dreams or whatever, hallucinations that Harris wants her to come, you know, wants her to join him to come back to the family and he's going to kill all of the people in her her group obviously bruce abbott's character doesn't believe her thinks she's crazy and that's really where i want to stop because i do recommend if i don't think i, I this isn't streaming anywhere and it hasn't been for a while if you want to rent it for a few bucks it's definitely worth it guys this is especially if you like horror movies definitely the only reason i would almost say to buy and this this is where i'm getting to with the reason I wanted to buy this Blu-ray, this media to get the extras. It was maybe about 10 or 11 years ago. Uh, I I don't know how I found something on online. Somebody put up an alternate ending. So I, I don't know if it's the original ending. I don't know if this was one they did afterwards. It really changes the entire outcome and probably like the second half of the film. I mean, it, and you know what? Not that I dislike the movie to be, I mean, I, I like the movie and it's, it's it's theatrical format but wow that alternate ending like that to me is the better ending <laughs> like that's what it should have been so anyway, let's take a look at the media guys you want to see my blue i need my blues in my life my bad dreams is my blue dreams so there's the cover and here's the back scream factory this does a nice little job you know, they have both the description of both movies. And like I said, maybe I'll get the, the visiting hours one day. I do want to watch that very soon, to tell you the truth. That was kind of what put me over the edge, too, um, versus Raining. That that came with it, too. Yeah, I, I remember really liking that movie. So that's the back. Not a lot of imagery there to go by. Let's open. Ooh. There's little insert pictures there. That's nice. All on one disc. Bad dreams of visiting hours. Let's let's make sure this isn't broken, not shattered. Shattered, shattered. That's visiting hours. I'll say that. Yeah, there's my blue. Listen, if you guys like this movie, dislike it, have um maybe I don't know some of the the questions I brought up. I don't know about behind the scenes stuff about the endings. Uh, anything, uh, please leave it in the comments. I appreciate it. That would be uh, that'd be pretty cool. I'd like to interact. Um, you can also uh, follow me on my my social media accounts on Twitter and Instagram. It's at GCAP Recap. Uh, please uh, please subscribe. And as always, you know, anytime you uh, watch a GCAP Recap, you always have a seat in my bar. Till next time, my friends. I'll see ya. Sit, Koopy. Sit. Good dog.